welcome you back to Black Side tonight. We're going to talk about two women who are impregnated by a transgender in a woman's prison. First, I would like for you to subscribe to this channel. Hit that like button, hit that notification button, but also comment on this video. This says in this headline what Governor Murphy said about two women at New Jersey prison getting pregnant after consensual sex between inmates. After two women incarcerated at New Jersey's only female prison became pregnant following sex with a transgender prisoner. Governor Murphy said Monday that the troubles with the properly segregating prisoners at Edna Mayhem Correctional Facility is among the many reasons. He was ordered the facility to close. Part of the reason to close it, and there are many sadly, is the inability to segregate populations based on indecencies or behaviors. Murphy said during a unrelated public event in Ewing when asked to comment, and that's going a long list of reasons why it has to be closed, and that's in the process. The Clinton prison had faced intense scrutiny in the recent years related to staff members sexually abusing and exploiting prisoners. Murphy announced last year that the state plans to close the prison after officials learned that corrections officers had violently extracted women from their cells and brutalized them in the middle of the night. The incident detailed New Jersey's advanced media led to criminal charges against 15 officers and forced the State Department of Corrections Commissioner Marcus Hiss to resign. The unclear when the prison will close and independent monitor continues to oversee the facility means the facility was under renewed attention last week when advanced media reported about the pregnancies it appears the two women prisoners became pregnant with consensual sexual relations with another incarcerated person said dan spencer the doc's external affairs director for instance, did not in identify the inmates in question, but Edna Mayhem houses 27 prisoners who identify as transgender. He said the investigation is ongoing while the DDC cannot comment on any specific disciplinary or housing decision may be considered in light of these events. The department always reverses all options to reserve, ensure the health and safety of the individuals it is in custody. A settlement agreement with the ACLU of New Jersey last year declared that the state prison must house transgender prisoners in line with their gender identity. The settlement stemmed from lawsuits by transgender women who were sent to men's prison where she, where she alleged she was received inadequate medical care and was abused by male inmates. Here go, here we go again. We have a society that wants us to believe the unbelievable. A man goes into a woman's prison, and he still has his tool. What the hell do you think he gonna do for sexual gratification? He see a multitude of women, all of them horny as hell, ain't had no tool in years. So what you think he gonna do for favors, for, uh, for items in the commissary? He gonna take that woman in a quiet space and clap them cheeks. And that's what's going on. And this is why this whole transgender thing is dangerous. Now, in a multitude of states, a transgender can go into a woman's bathroom, do whatever they want. They can go into a woman's bathroom with your 10 year old daughter they can place basically go anywhere they want to. 
Now, you don't have to identify as a transgender. There is no box to mark. So today, a man could come to work as Jim on Friday, come back on Monday, he's Jenny. And Jenny is at work, and his fellow workers that they know him as Jim, they in the bathroom, and Jim walks in, and he looks at them and says, I'm Jenny today, I'm a woman. And you're supposed to sit there as a rational human being, and you're supposed to believe this shit. Man, you can't make this shit up, man. They got you believing the unbelievable. This is called control, control of the mind. If I can make you believe the unbelievable, I can make you believe anything. And this is what happened. Now, you got them having to make excuses for all these transgenders who in jail banging chicks, because that's all he was doing. And I bet you more of them got pregnant. I bet you it's up to a damn half a dozen once they trip. Check. We're supposed to believe this. And if we don't believe in transgenderism or that they're not a woman, I'm transphobic. Something is wrong with me. Because I believe that God made man and woman, that you can't be a woman, you don't have menstruation, you can't have a baby. So if I don't believe that, something is wrong with me. But it's so many problems that come with this. Even when you see Leah Thomas in sports, you supposed to believe that as a woman with a man's body. All the attributes a man has. And you expect that this woman is supposed to beat Leah Thomas. Making you believe the unbelievable. This is how somebody controls your mind, your thinking, your moral compass. This is what this is all about. And it has come to a head in society. They're going to say, it's consensual sex because they have no choice but to say that. But they can't say consensual sex between a man and a woman. They have to say consensual sex between a transgender woman and a woman? But I thought she was a woman. You see how that goes? They have created a mess in this society. And this is the chaos that they always wanted to, to create. You believe in the unbelievable. I want to thank you for listening to Black Sight. I hope you subscribe to this channel. Smash that like button, but also share this video.